hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel you all so today is 24th of march and time right now is 9 45 am so this is the to do list for today i already made the to do list and i've in fact completed this biotech revision also actually i was not planning to record the video today but then i was like let's just record it and right now i am watching salt analysis lecture so i'm watching this lecture from this yakin youtube channel and I was making notes also along with that. So let's continue doing it. So I didn't really watch this whole lecture. I watched most of it. But still a little bit was left and after that I went to library and there I started revising biomolecules. So it's been long since I revised this chapter so it took a lot of time for me to revise it. But it was coming in test so I need to revise that. And this chapter also I left it a little bit the last part was left so I was like I'll do it after some time because I was too tired. It's been like 2 hours since I'm doing it. So I decided to do something else which is biotech and its application. I was watching its lecture. So now I am done with watching lecture of biotech and its applications. So I have seen this lecture on mobile, so I have not recorded it. And now I am sitting here, so I will go out a little bit and read it. And then I will read the NCRT and then I will complete the biomolecules part of the biomolecules. So let's go out. And after that I read the NCRT of biotech and its application. And here I am back at my home and completing this biomolecule chapter. So guys, a lot of you guys are just entering into 11th or 12th and you guys don't want to appear for J or NEET or you want to keep your options open. So as you all know that for a good university mein admission, ke liye, you need to give CUET exam in India. So just like any other competitive exam, CUET is also highly competitive. And in order to get into your dream university, you should start preparing for it now. And PW is here to help you get into your dream university. So Uday Batch is there for class 11th student and for class 12th student, Pravesh 2.0 General Test and Language Batch and there is Pravesh Science 3.0. So these courses will cover all the subjects of science including physics, chemistry, biology along with maths and English and you will get PDF notes on PW app and you will also get DPPs and their video solution in quiz format and PW is also providing you with doubt solving engine where you can clear all your doubts so I will be providing all the links in the description you can go and check out the batches and don't forget to use my code HAS for instant 200 rupees discount on all CUET batches And now I'm done with revising biomolecules of chemistry, so let's cut that off. So I started this new day with revising anatomy and flaring plants, and I was having some difficulty in this chapter at some point, so I decided to watch its lecture at 2.5 speed because I didn't have much time. After that, I revised it on my own. So now I'm done with revising anatomy, and it took me 3 hours and 16 minutes to complete this revision, which is quite a lot considering I have to complete so much. After that I started with laws of motion revision. I'm revising it from my short notes while writing it down. Now done with laws of motion as well. Let's cut this off from our list and it took me one and a half hour to completely revise this chapter. After that I started to do the question practice, so I'm doing the question practice from this series Maharivision of PW and I was practicing the questions cause I didn't practice the question in the last test so I really need to practice questions cause it really brush up your concepts and the way you can apply the formula. I 
and after that I started to revise morphology in flowering plants and again I watched lecture for it cause like when I revise it on my own it takes much more time but when I revise it with lecture it takes a little less time I don't know that's what I feel after that I started to revise work energy and power so I'm revising it as well from my notes So it is the next day and time right now is 1.47. I just came back from my exam and then I had my lunch and then I quickly rushed towards the library cause I need to complete a lot of things today as well. So I started with making short notes of chemical bonding. I haven't had it short notes cause I used to revise it from this notebook only but now it's like very difficult to carry all the notebooks so whichever chapters are left I'm trying to make their short notes. And in middle of doing it I got tired and then I also got the result of the test which I gave today it's 602. So I need to analyze the test so here is our test I'm gonna analyze it now. So look at my face being all mad while analyzing the test cause the mistakes are like very very bad. So time right now is 7pm and now I'm finally done with making short notes of chemical bonding. So this is how it turned out. If you want to check them out I have already uploaded them on my telegram channel so you can check it there. And I also analyzed this test paper, so let's cut the things which we've done in our total list. And after that I started to revise the short notes of the chapters which will be coming in tomorrow's test. So these are basically FTS which is final test series and I'm giving code A and code B of that. So the past week has been very very tingling. I don't know what to say about that. I With FTS I had a lot of expectations. I know you shouldn't have expectations but I had. I was like when I've completed the syllabus now it's just revision. It will be easy for me and I will revise pretty easily. And everything will you know it won't be that hard. I was not expecting it to be that hard honestly. But when I actually started to revise it was taking a lot of time. And in the first FTS. I just had like half of the day after exam like and then I prepared for it and went to give the exam. I haven't practiced a single question. I just reviewed my short notes and read the NCRT. Still I was expecting that you know it's gonna go good like what bad can happen I'll just get few wrong. But I got very bad marks in that and I was like taken aback after that. I was like okay it's not that easy I was expecting it to be. I got 575 in that and after that I was like okay I need to like study. The next day I revised uh, the short notes and uh, especially biology it was bad and physics also bro physics is bad I was like bro physics is not something which I want to lose marks in but anyways then I uh, got into that and then I was like searching for the things to do that should I practice questions before that I was myself so confused and you guys ask me from for advices like boy I'm also doing it so don't ask for advices from me I'm not the perfect person to give you the advice anyway so I started to the questions I was not getting where to solve it from so I started to search up on uh, YouTube the question practice series which you know usually starts uh, you know before NEET and also I was uh, watching those series obviously I couldn't complete a lot of them because just like literally like half of the day was there you need to analyze the paper and when you analyze the paper the breakdown that you have like you have made so much mistakes the next day also paper didn't went that well I got like 588 I guess I don't even remember the score as well but yeah it was also bad and I was like, oh my god, this is just getting bad and bad. And I was pretty sad about that. But I was like, okay, let's prepare for the next one because we don't have much time. But for the next test, I think we had a day off. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, it was day off. So I got to prepare a bit okay in that time frame. And I had a little idea of what I need to do. I watched uh, lectures also, like the question practice uh, series kind of things. So I did well in that. That's what I thought, but the exam result was not that, uh, you know, good. It, I got 602, although I was not that sad. I mean, I was sad, but I was like, bro, it's increasing, you know, you shouldn't be that worried about it. And I was like, okay, let's prepare for the next one. Next one was on the same syllabus the next day. I was like, did I got 602, so the next day it should be even better than that. So I started to revise and study and everything. And guess what? The next day I got even worse. I got like 578, I guess, yeah. And I was so sad. I was like, bro, like if it would have increased, if it would have increased like 5-10 marks, I would be like, okay, kuch to increase hua, but it decreased. I was so sad. Then I even stopped recording also and I was just too sad. And then I didn't even feel like studying for the next exam. I was like, bro, to kuch bhi kar le nahi ho na. 
that's very sad bad everything but yeah that's what has been going on recently and uh, yeah do let me know how much you are scoring and how's it going for every one of you and how you are revising like what you are doing for the revision are you just revising your short notes and you know doing questions and what you are doing do let me know i also need your help and i'm not the perfect person to tell you so don't ask me in the comments like what you are doing okay so that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel i'll see you with a new video very very soon until then goodbye